my name is Amar Al Jindi, and I'm absolutely excited to be talking about the first quarter 2022 at Agnico Eagle. I want to talk about three things. One is excellent operating quarter, two, very good progress on the integration between Agnico Eagle and Kirkland Lake, and then three, importantly, a lot of the interesting things we're doing and exciting things we're doing to create value going forward. Operationally, we had a very strong quarter. We met our production numbers and our cost guidance well within guidance and a very strong start to the year with some exceptional mines uh, providing some exceptional results. Laurent produced over 100,000 ounces, remarkable for a mine that's 35 years old. Uh, at the same time at Laurent, we continue to do exploration with three exploration drifts. That is a fantastic asset with a great history and a great future. I go across the other side of the world to Fosterville in Australia, almost 120,000 ounces of production this first quarter at cash costs just a little above $300 an ounce. That is exceptional by any mine anywhere in the world. But all of our mines have performed well. When I look at Meliadine, again, an, a relatively new mine in Nunavut producing over 80,000 ounces and producing its one millionth ounce since going into production. And at Amarok, uh, the satellite deposit at Meadowbank, underground progress is going well and we expect to start producing underground production in August. If I take a look at the Abitibi at Goldex, again, an exceptional mine producing its one millionth ounce since reopening in 2013 and record production out of the railveyor in the first quarter. So you can see across the board, good performance. Kitala and Makassa, strong performance, but importantly, both of those good progress on the shaft. The shafts will be in place by the end of this year, which will allow us to reduce costs, improve efficiency, uh, and get more out of those mines, which remain wide open at depth. So as you would expect, with these gold prices, with those kind of operational results, we had strong cash flow to continue to reinvest in the business, strong cash flow to continue to do more exploration, uh, but importantly, strong cash flow to continue to return uh, capital to our shareholders. With our increased dividend and our $500 million share buyback program, we expect to have in place and start uh, in May. As I shift then to the integration, it's going very well, extremely well, I would say. For example, we guided about a target run rate of $35 million a year of GNA synergies we expect that number to be closer to 40 to $50 million a year. So everything is going well. And so now let's talk on the third item, which is progress on these key value drivers that I think our shareholders and our people should be most interested in. And those are Detour and Canadian Malartic. At Detour, uh, we are going to be presenting a new mine life at mid-year, but that's only the first step of a multiple year improvement. We'll be going from about 24 million tons a year and show the potential to go to 28 million tons a year, but we're already working on uh, ideas to go to 32.4 million tons a year, which is where the permitting allows it to. We continue to find more gold in the pit, but we think there is tremendous underground potential at Detour that can extend the life decades even beyond where we're currently. And speaking of underground potential, at Canadian Malartic, we continue to drill at Odyssey, at East Gouldy. We continue to prove up the gold and we continue to find gold as we step out. So in closing, we've had a very strong quarter. We've had a strong quarter operationally. We've had a strong quarter in integration and we've had a strong quarter in moving forward to create projects that we have that are going to add a lot of value. And I do want to point out that as good as a quarter that we had operationally, this will be our weakest quarter. So it's a good start to the year, but it's going to be a very good year. Thank you very much for all of your support, all of your trust in us. We are working hard. It's been a good start. We have a lot of work to go, uh, but things are going well.